Sikh Sikh to kyo dar rahe Why are Sikh scared of Sikhs? Why are we not close to each other? You know, uh, a lot of the people that wear case now, we um, uh, take Amrit and become Amritaris, they are a bit hard to approach. They are Amritari, no? Una de vich ek nuks aa gaya. Una de vich hi Amrit ahankar aa gaya. Ek e theek nahi, hai na? Amritari jehdi hai ki oh kaum de sevadar hai ki, kaum de rakhwale hai ki. Una da kam nahi lokan jo ke daantna, bhai tu si changi nahi. In fact, I was reading a very interesting book. It's um, now to remember who exactly wrote it. It's a famous Gursikh. And he's um, at the time of the Gurus. I think it's Pai Jetaji. Pai Jetaji's book, right? I was reading through it. And he starts to describe, actually, no, it's not Pai Jetaji, it's Siri Guru Soba yeah, by Kavi Senapati. And Senapati describes the situation in Delhi, right? Where after Guru Gobind Singh Ji made the Amrit Sanchar, they became a lot of people that, were, um, that took Amrit in Delhi. Right? But then he describes a problem where a lot of people that weren't prepared to take Amrit, they were totally money. And he goes that there was a bit of a fight between the money and the Amritaris. They were like, oh, you, you, why, if you haven't taken Amrit, you shouldn't be involved in the seva. And there was a bit of an argument going on between the Amritaris and non-Amritaris. And the Amritaris were saying, you're not following the Guru's hukum and you should be following it. Non-Amritaris were saying, well, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. It was okay with the previous Gurus. And also, I'm not ready yet to keep the case and everything else. And I want to meet the Guru so he can, so he can tell me uh, directly take Amrit. Anyway, what happened is the six at that time, they got into arguments and fights. And then some of them came together and they said, you know what? We can't solve this problem right now. Things are very complicated. There's a Guru Gobind Singh Ji's away down south and etc. etc. Why don't we just agree to disagree and let's just get along like we used to get along before. And then the Guru can come and solve the problem later on. And that was a very sensible decision that was made at that time. And then Delhi went back to normal, they all got along fine. Now, I'm not saying that Amrit is not important. Right? Nor am I saying to every Amritai that you're bad and you should, no, non Amritai that you're bad and you should take Amrit. The point I'm saying is the six agreed to get along. And that was the key thing. Right? And we ourselves, all of us, can agree to get along now. I mean, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going Right? Same apna utte BC which, apna Victoria which, utte tin hai ke ne? Right? Or inni maya apna kharch rehenge, gurdwara de utte, sangat ko nahi kathi ho sakdi. Because we don't seem to be able to get along. Mostly, it's not the sangat that can't get along. Honda ki hai, the people that started one gurdwara, they get fights between themselves, they can't get along, they go, fine, I'm gonna break away, I'm gonna go set up another gurdwara. And then they get, bring the people that used to come with them, and then they end up becoming two options. And naturally, as the Sangat grows, they end up going to two. We don't need these many Gurdwari. What we need are education centers. Because you know what? Look at these Gurdwari nowadays. Maaf ka na paisa ji. Ye apak Gurdwari dekhaange na. Ina de jik baad vada ka atta hai. That the Purane Sikhs wouldn't recognize them. I feel that people from three, four hundred years ago would turn up to our Gurdwari now and they would be like, this is not a Gurdwara. We'd be like, why? Guru Granth Sahib ji is here. They're like, but there's no horses, there's no shooting training, there's no gyan being given out, there's no santhya classes. There's just no education going on. What is this place? It's a bit like a temple. It's a bit like a mandir. You just go at the front, ring the bell, matha take, and you go home. This is not a gurdara from what we remember. We remember a place where we used to train, we used to get fit, we used to solve our problems together, we used to uh, look at other people's problems and solve their problems. It was like a, you know, like a university slash army center. Right? And people enjoyed those places and they loved going there. And now it's become religious only. As if all the other things weren't religious. You know, when Guru Angad Dev Ji sets up a wrestling training center, if you go to Akhada Sahib, it's a Gurdwara that was based around a wrestling ring. You get it? The, and the Guru, the second Guru, would wrestle. And who would he wrestle? Obviously, six, isn't it? Six would get in there and wrestle their Guru. And they would enjoy it. And the Guru would train, and the Sikhs would train. That's the kind of Guru we have. I don't want to say we had, we have. We still got that Guru. But we have become a bit strange and separate from our Guru. So, obviously there's tension in a community. There's always tension between a family. How do you get rid of it? You come together 
and you have like a celebration, you meet each other. You don't just break away from each other. You still stay in the family. The family, they say, blood is thicker than water, isn't it? So you get together anyway. And it breaks, the, it breaks the tension down. Or maybe you have a bit of an argument. Maybe they say, okay, put some gloves on it. Have a bit of a ruck. Get him in the wrestling ring. Say, the wrestle karke, kar do apni And just get back to normal again. That's how it should be. You should be training, fighting, eating, horse riding, shooting, archery. When you have that kind of stuff, sports in a gurdara, then these, these tensions and these kind of, what I might say, almost like kind of, it's almost lot not worthy of a macho culture. It's like, you know, like in Punjab, in the pin, they say, Buri wale gala kar they keep moaning about each other, mo- keep on complaining about each other. Get over it and get along, man. You know, be a man. That's what Peter would say. <laughs> be a man. Do the right thing. Yeah? So, <laughs> we're not doing the right things. We're just arguing and being silly. Yeah? We need to step up to the game that we're supposed to be doing. Right? So, uh, this is the part of the problem, I feel. That the Gurdwari have become a little bit, a bit of an anti Gurdwara. It's no longer a place to learn about Gurdwari. It's no longer a place to train and get fit and become healthy. It's more a place to just come and eat unhealthy food and be religious. You know, Kirtan and Simran is one part of Sikhi, but it's not the whole of Sikhi. There's a lot of good f- other stuff that's exciting and fun inside there as well. I'm not saying Kirtan is not fun and exciting. I find that fun and exciting as well. But we've made it a bit too religious, our Gurdwari. It's like the, the Christian version of a church. It's a church now, or a mandir. It's no longer a gurdwara. The gurdwara was something else. You know, it was like a hospital, it was like a fort, it was like a training center. That's the thing. If you look at the definition of gurdwara in Khan Singh Abbas uh, Mahan Kosh, he gives a very different definition of what we've got now. He says there should be medicine there, he should, there should be like a homeless shelter, there should be accommodation, there should be food going all the time, there should be a fort, and it should be like a fortress. You know, these things aren't in our Gurdwari now. And we, because of our sort of non-macho, non-military type culture, this kind of political thing is coming to us. This voting, voting is not part of Sikhi. There's no voting in Sikhi, by the way. Sangat never used to vote. You know what there was? Okay, I'll give you a simple clue why voting is not part of Sikhi. Right? Mara says at the end of, of us, Japji Sahib, you all know these words, right? Ke nede ke? Everybody knows it, right? Ke nede ke? Dur. Some people are close, some people are far. Simple question. In any kind of culture, are there going to be more people close to God or more people far away from God in the current culture we're living in? Are the nede going to be bigger or the dur going to be bigger? The dur are going to be bigger, right? The ones that are further away. So why then would you give everybody equal voting? What you've done now is handed over power to people that are dur. If everybody's equal, there's more dur, they're going to vote for the wrong things because they're dur. So you have to find nere people and only allow them the place to vote. I went to a synagogue and I didn't go to, I was talking to a Jewish guy and he said in his synagogue, how it works is everybody gets a membership card. Everybody gets a membership card for free. But only the people that attend the highest get to vote. Do you scan in? When you come in, you scan that you were there. And you scan when you leave. Right? And then they have a computer system to work out if people are scamming the system. Like, you know, every time one person comes through, five people come through together, five people go out together. So obviously that guy is just scanning his whole family in, right? So anyway, they do this over the year, and the people that have the high attendance, that come there regularly, they get to vote. No one else gets to vote. They're trying to find the people that are nearly as well. We have this crazy system, you can buy your election seat, you can buy your right to vote. $22,000 for a membership in some Gurdwari. Yeah? $2,000 in Abbotsford to become a member of the Gurdwara, so you can vote. So, this is how we have become away from li- liking each other. Because we put in these systems that are not our own systems. We've made Gurdwari more like churches and mandirs, and we've made Gurdwari more places of politics than there are about Gurbani. So we've gone away from our own system, and we end up with this messed up system. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, check out our Amritsar Visitor Center project that we are currently fundraising for. Sangatji, we need your support. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Wahiguruji ka khalsa, Wahiguruji ki fateh.